MG, they said that their new MG4, which is a bit bigger than the old version, it's um, it's going to have the first ever mass-produced semi-solid state battery. Most of the battery is solid. Only a very small percentage of it is actually liquid. And this is meant to be a huge sales feature, right? You would think and expect that it would mean massive range for the new MG4. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. MG4, it's coming within the next few months, the new version. It's going to be, I believe, about 4.4 meters long. It's about 5% bigger than the previous generation. It looks different. Not sure if I'd say it looks better, but it definitely looks different. And it's going to be the world's first car to have mass-produced semi-solid state batteries. First of all, I'm a little bit surprised about this news because MG Sake, the parent company, they are crowing about this, using this as a big marketing thing. And you would think this would mean these new MG4s with these batteries would be much better than their rivals. Here are the actual details, straight from the company themselves. The new battery supplied by Qingtao Energy contains only 5% liquid electrolyte, said Chen, who is the CEO. MG states this battery has passed rigorous safety tests, including a 360 degree puncture test and delivers a CLTC rated range of 537 kilometers, which is shockingly low. And I'm thinking 537 kilometers, I mean, why? Is it a really small battery? Well, here's the thing. The energy density is 180 watt hours per kilogram. MG says the battery provides 13.8% better range retention in cold conditions uh, at minus seven degrees Celsius compared to traditional lithium ion phosphate batteries. Now. No, that's kind of a mental claim because what batteries are they even referring to? Are they, which manufacturer? I mean, lithium ion phosphate batteries, they're made by lots of companies and they're all different. So to say 13.8% better range than everyone is actually factually wrong because it's not true. They're all going to be different. All batteries are different. Anyhow, the energy density seems remarkably low, doesn't it? 180 watt hours per kilogram. There's actually lithium ion phosphate batteries on the market and NMC batteries with a high energy density. So I'm curious to know, are they referencing the pack level energy density or the cell level? If this is pack level energy density, it probably means the actual cell level energy density is approximately 270 watt hours per kilogram, sort of similar to a Tesla 4680 battery cell, or say the BMW's new 4680 cylindrical cells, they're not exactly 4680, but those new cylindrical cells being used by various manufacturers and Mercedes-Benz, their new batteries, they're providing about 20% more range as well. The energy density is probably similar to them. So all the hype that's been coming out of China around semi-solid state batteries, to be honest, hasn't really come true. We Lion, they produce semi-solid state batteries for Neo as well. The energy density of those batteries is good, but it's not great. It's not outstanding, and I don't really see the purpose of them. Anyhow, pricing is cheap. So this is one key big factor for the MG4. Price will start at 11,000 US dollars. The most expensive version in China costs 16,400 US dollars. So yeah, the price is obviously still competitive. However, MG says the car uses a 70 kilowatt hour battery pack. So that's a pretty big battery. You'd think it'd get more than 540 kilometers of range. And I'm thinking to myself, am I missing something? Is this just being misreported? Is there, is there, I'm sure there must be something else, some other news out there that I've missed and this is being misreported. So if, if that's the case, we'll find out pretty soon. It uses the same motors. It's a 120 kilowatt motor, rear mounted motor. I like the fact that it's rear wheel drive. And if you get the more expensive version, it has a 150 kilowatt motor. So not a whole lot of power, but it's certainly not bad. There is the, uh, the performance version as well, which does have a lot of power. It can do zero to 100 in 3.8 seconds. It's got more than, I believe more than 300 kilowatt of power. The size, it's 4,395 millimeters long. So it's about 100 millimeters longer than the BOD Dolphin. To be honest, not a significant difference overall in terms of size. So I don't think you're going to go, wow, this is really a really big car or anything like that. Anyhow, the, the main takeaway here for me is interesting that um, this is the same company that's producing this semi-solid state battery. This is the same company that I recently did a video on on their solid state battery in a General Motors sake hot hatch. And that thing is a hot hatch. That's the fastest hot hatch in the world if they actually make it. It's a, you know, it's at this point in time, it's just a demonstration car. But if they actually made that thing, it's got, I believe, 2,000 horsepower. Uh, it's got actual range of 1,250 kilometers using a, an actual solid state battery 
with energy density of around 400 watt hours per kilogram, meaning more than double the energy density of this battery. That's the real deal. That's the excitement. This semi-solid state battery thing, it's gonna be used as a marketing um, tool, essentially for MG, I assume, worldwide. But I don't really think they should do this because it's misleading. It's not, the energy density isn't any better than any rival's batteries. So there's not really any reason to use this as a marketing tactic. It's of no real benefit to the end user. Let me know your thoughts and thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Guys, Geely, they own so many car brands. I think they're about to buy another car brand, an Italian famous brand as well. Very good chance that Geely buy Maserati, but they also own Volvo. They own Lincoln Co. They own Zika, Polestar, the list goes on and on. They've also got another car company you've probably never, ever heard before called Levan. And Levan sell little micro EVs. This one here is going to cost between four to five thousand US dollars, and it's mini, but it's still safer than a bicycle. I think it's actually pretty damn awesome. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. Hey guys, I've got uh, a, an EcoFlow Delta Two right here, and the Delta Pro, which is about four times bigger than this. I've used them over the past two months many times. I didn't think I would, but I've needed them. There's been electrical problems in the house. There's been uh, massive storms here in Australia. They've been absolutely, for me, game-changing, life-saving, up to 45% off sale. I'll put a link in the description, and I think that's on for the next three weeks. So click on that link. You can take advantage and get one of these batteries for a really good price. This is Geely's new, well, it's response to the Wuling Really, the Wuling Hongwan Mini, their little electric car, which is one of the best-selling EVs in the world, and also the response to the BYD Seagull. Yeah, it's smaller than a BYD Seagull, but it's about half the price. So this thing could do extremely well. How long is it? Well, very, very not long. It's short. It's 3.1 meters long, actually. So yeah, it's not big, but apparently can fit four people. I don't know how you go getting four people in this car, but you could try. Peak power is 40 horsepower. But honestly, considering the fact this is only going to weigh about 850 kilograms, I think 40 horsepower would be enough. Levan is actually a brand that apparently focuses on making uh, cars with swappable batteries for taxi services in China. 